Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at uh, percentages and increasing or decreasing amounts. So this first page I've got here, or these first four examples, I'm going to uh, use non-calculator methods and on the, next, on the second and third uh, page I'll be using calculators. So if you want to use non-calc, stay tuned with this one. If you want to have a look how to do it with a calculator, you can skip on uh, to the next um, uh, set of examples that I've got. Okay. So let's get going. So if I want to increase 150 by 20% without a calculator, I need to work out what 20% is and increase it. So to work out 20%, if you can't remember how to do that, have a little flick back through in my finding percentages video, uh, but I will quickly just do a quick recap now. So to find 20%, what I'm going to do is find 10% because that's nice and easy. So to find 10%, I just divide by 10. So 150 divided by 10 is 15. And then if I want 20%, I just do 10% and double it. So if 10% is 15, uh, double 15 is obviously 30. So 20% of 150 is 30. And because I'm increasing, I add them together. So 150 plus 30 gives me 180 for my final answer. Okay. Next one over here, this time I'm going to decrease 75 by 20%. So exactly the same process to find 20%. I'm going to find 10%. So divide 75 by 10, so I just move the decimal point to the left one, which will give me 7.5. Again, if you can't quite remember this process, have a look at my previous video. And then 20% is double 10%, so 7.5 double or 7.5 plus 7.5 is 15. Now this time, because I'm decreasing, I'm going to take away. So 75 take away 15 leaves me with 60 for my final answer. Okay. Two other examples here then, let's go with increasing 50 by 7%. So again, I need to work out what 7% is. So to do that, different ways you can do it, but I'm gonna find 10% uh, because it's nice and easy. So divide that by 10, which would give me five. And I'm gonna half it to find what 5% is. So if I know 10% is five, and then I want 5%, I'm gonna half it. So that's 2.5. And the last one I want to work out is 1%. To find 1%, you divide by 100. So 50 divided by 100, decimal point moves twice, 0 0.5. Okay, so by using these, I'm not going to work out what 7% is. So 7% will be 5% plus 1% plus another 1%. Okay, and um, we worked out 5% was 2.5, and 1% was 0 0.5, and obviously another 0 0.5 there. So in total, what do I have? Well, 2.5 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is 3.5. Okay, and because I'm increasing, don't forget to add it back on. Very common mistake is people work out 7%, quids in, get half the marks, and then forget to increase it. So don't forget to actually add it back on. So we're going to have fifty pounds. Add three pound fifty, which is obviously going to give me fifty-three pounds fifty. Now, I've deliberately done that because this is also a very common mistake. If you're dealing with money, do not leave it to one decimal place. If it's money, leave it to two decimal places and leave it as £53.50, pence, including that second decimal place, which is the zero. Okay, You will lose marks in the exam if you don't do that. Next one then, this time I'm going to decrease £34 by 11%, so we need to find out what 11% is. To do that, I'm going to break it up into a 10%, which will be 3.4, and 1%. Divide it by 100, 0 0.34. Okay, so 11% will be me adding these two together. So that will be 3.74. 
And then because I'm decreasing, I need to do 34 pounds, take away 11%, which we worked out to be three pounds 74. And that leaves you with 30 pounds and 26 pence. Okay, and again, notice double, uh, two decimal places there as well. Okay, so there's non-calculator method. Find out the percentage, and then if it's an increase, add it on. And if it's a decrease, take it away. Okay, the next one we'll have a look at is using a calculator. Just bear with me. So this one here we'll use calculator method. Okay, so of course from the previous video of finding percentages what you could do is get your calculator and do 17 percent times 134 which gives you 22.78 as a 17 percent and because it's an increase you could then just add it together to get an increase of 17 and a half percent of course that's absolutely fine however the method i'm going to show you in this video is using decimal multipliers because they tend now in the exams to ask you questions specifically about decimal multipliers so that's what i'm going to do in this particular bit now so if you want to increase an amount by 17 percent you're going to have a hundred percent which is your starting amount and if you're increasing by 17%, so you're going to have 100% the original amount, add on another 17%, you're going to have 117%. Now, if I want the decimal multiplier, the clues in the name, I want to convert this to a decimal. So 117%, getting that to a decimal, I divide by 100, so I'll have 1.17. Point, uh, one seven okay and this is going to be my decimal multiplier so at the minute it's a decimal happy days and then to work uh, why it's called a decimal multiplier is then because i multiply it by the amount so i'm going to do 134 pounds times by my decimal multiplier which is 1.17 and let's get the calculator out 134 times 1.17 and that's going to give me 156 pounds and 78 pence. Okay, so as you can see, it's increased. Okay, so the decimal multiplier there is 1.17. Okay, uh, next one then, so 63%. So this time I'm increasing by 63%, so I'm going to use the same process. I start off with 100%. I increase by 63%, which is 163%. I'm going to convert that to a decimal to get my decimal multiplier, which is 1.63. So that's my multiplier. So I'm going to get 134 pounds. I'm going to times it by my decimal multiplier of 1.63. And I get my calculator, 134 times 1.1 uh, 1.63 sorry and I get the answer of 218 pounds and 42 pence cool next one again this time I'm increasing by 23.5 percent so I'm going to start off with a hundred percent by all means do these yourself and check we've got the same answer as me so a hundred percent Add 23.5%. What do we get? Well, we get 123.5%. What's that as a decimal? 1.235. We just divide by 100. So that's the decimal multiplier. So I multiply that by my amount, which is still £134, times by 1.235. And I get my calculator and find out what that is. hundred and sixty five pounds and forty nine pence uh, next one this time I'm increasing by three percent so I've got a hundred percent plus three percent is obviously a hundred three percent what's the multiplier then divided by 100 to get it as a decimal 1.03 
I say, you might have jumped ahead here and done some of these yourself, and then you can therefore check you got it right yourself, which is absolutely fine. I'm just going to go through it step by step so everyone can see. So 138 pounds and two pence uh, for that one. And the last one for increasing, 207%. This one actually uh, tricked a couple of my uh, students. I mean, this, sort of, this came up in one of the most recent tests because I didn't do, the, didn't start off with 100%. So remember, you always start off with 100%. And if it's increasing by this, then we add it on, which will give you 307%. So the decimal multiplier would be 3.07, okay? Don't forget, you always start off with 100%. So to increase it by 207, it's 134, which is the amount, times by the multiplier. And let's see what we get. So 134 times 3.07, and we get 400 and 11 pounds and 38 pence okay so that's the examples of increasing now let's have a look at examples of decreasing again if you want to do these yourself and then check at the end that's absolutely fine but again i'm going to work through it step by step okay so let's get going with the first one then so if i want to decrease by 24 percent i still start off with my 100 percent because i'm decreasing i'm going to take away 24%, which leaves me with 76%. And as a das decimal, again, divide by 100. So 76 divided by 100 is 0 0.76. That's my multiplier. So 246 times by my multiplier. What do we get? 246 times by 0 0.76. And we get 186 pounds and 96 pence. Now again, just as a quick check, if you've got more than 246 pounds, obviously you've gone wrong because you need to decrease it. So you might have gone the wrong way. You might have uh, divided. You might have done something wrong. But if you get more than that, obviously you've gone wrong. So just double check and make sure you haven't done anything obviously silly. Okay, next one. Decrease of 16%. Exactly the same process. Start off with 100%. Take away 16%. Leaves you with 84%. As a decimal, 0 0.84. So 246 pounds times by 0 0.84. What do we get? 246. Times 0 0.84. So 206 pounds and 64 pence. Next one, decrease of 2%. You're probably getting bored of this process now, but I will keep going. So if you want to skip, by all means do so. So 100%, take away 2% is 98%. Oops, no, not equal. Wait, is equal. Uh, as a decimal then is 0 0.98, that's my multiplier, so 246 pounds times by 0 0.98, so 246 times 0 0.98, what do we get, so 241 pounds and 8 pence. Uh, next one, so 100% decreasing, so take away 33.5%. That's going to give me 66.5%. Uh, as a decimal then, 0 0.665. So 246 pounds um, times by... 0 0.665 what do we get 163 pounds and 59 pence and last but not least a decrease of 99% so 100 
minus 99%. Obviously, it leaves us with 1%. Uh, as a decimal multiplier, then 0 0.01. So 246 times by 0 0.01 leaves us with uh, 2 money, sorry, leaves us with uh, 2.1. Four, six, I believe. I will just double check it, or just so you can see it on the calculator as well. There we go, 2.46. Okay, so there's some examples using the calculator. Uh, and last but not least, let's have a look at some wordy questions to finish off. Don't worry, there's only three. Again, if you want to do these first and then check you've got the same answer as me, probably a good idea. If not, I'll just go through them myself. Okay, uh, so Finn bought an engage. Uh, Bought an engagement, I, I missed out ring there, bought an engagement ring. The total cost of the ring was uh, £420 and then plus VAT at 17.5%. How much did he spend on the ring? So this is an increase of 17.5%. So let's work out the multiplier. 100% plus 17.5% will give me 117.5%. What's that as a decimal? We'll divide it by 100, so 1.175. Okay, so let's then use that multiplier to work out the total amount. So it was 420 pounds times by the multiplier, which will increase it by 17.5%. So times it by 1.175. Let's do that, Let's see what we get, 420 times 1.175, and we get £493, again 0.5, but remember it's money, so don't forget to put the zero on the end. If you did this on your own beforehand and you didn't do that, you will lose a mark, so remember, zero. Uh, Lucy buys a dress and a sale, the sale is 25% off. Uh, the dress normally costs £36.80, work out the sales price, okay, so this is a decrease, so 100%, take away 25%, leaves me with 75%, as a decimal then is 0 0.75, so the dress uh, normally costs £36.80, so I'll times that by my multiplier of 0 0.75 and see what we get. £36.80 times by 0 0.75 is £27. And again, 0 0.6, but don't forget, it's £27.60. And last but not least, Tom's salary is 24 grand. His salary increases by 4%. What is his new salary? So it's an increase of 4%. So we're going to have 100% plus the 4%, which is 104%. As a decimal, divided by 100, so 1.04. There's my decimal multiplier. So £24,000 times by 1.04 will tell us his new amount once it's been increased. So £24,000 times by 1.04. What is his new salary? £24,960. OK, guys, so hopefully uh, that helps. Just remember, always start off with 100%. If you're increasing, add it. If you're decreasing, obviously take it away. And then convert it to a decimal, and that is your decimal multiplier. As I said, there are other ways you can do it. You can just use the percentage button and uh, add it on or take it away. Um, but as I said, in exams, decimal multipliers are used. And sometimes it asks you, what is a decimal multiplier to increase or decrease? Using this method, obviously you'll be able to answer that question. So hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching, guys.